Hello, and welcome to another edition of the WoW Collector. Um, I was working on the Gilnea starting zones for the Warrior, but one of my gillies decided to... He wanted to run some raids, so we talked, and I came up with a cool idea. He's a 114 Paladin. Decided to try to see if we can solo Emerald Nightmare. I, From what I've read, I thought we could maybe pull it off, but uh, it was actually really simple. Um, I do have an add-on that helps track achievements. I wanted to knock some of those out while we were here. Uh, we did fail a couple, uh, but it was nice because we were able to kind of understand some things. So again, I'm with a 114 Paladin. Um, I'm 120. My, I think my eye level is 338, so it's kind of a barometer for everybody. Um, 338 isn't very high, especially with benthic gear just being dropped. So expect that to get higher and kind of push some things. So it's on 10 man normal because I wasn't too sure how we were going to do in here. But as soon as I saw how easily we could kill those slimes, I knew it would be a pretty easy go. Um, wanted to talk about legacy loot. Kind of upset the way it all works. But here's how everything works. So back, way back when... We used to be able to solo raids. Um, the raid would drop everything. So every time you killed an, an ad, it would drop the normal gold like it would in a 25 or 20 or 10 or 40 man raid. So it was a good way to make money. Uh, Blizzard switched that system to something called legacy loot. Um, so kind of backstory was they initially nerfed everything where we weren't able to get drops that weren't for our classes. Uh, people were farming these old raids and um, Blizzard I don't think was happy with how much gold we were making. So they kind of nerfed some things, nerfed a lot of things. Uh, raid bosses used to drop 250 gold per kill. It was a lot. They definitely, definitely, definitely nerfed that. Um, as a side note, uh, pets can't taunt in here just like in Mist of Pandaria. Um, raids so you just have to use misdirection a lot and i have a cool add-on i can link that in the description as well for anyone who needs it but basically misdirection works like a taunt should it's kind of a tricky way around it but you know it works so they back to legacy so they nerfed what was dropping from bosses and they didn't like how that felt so they instituted a system called legacy loot which what that means is raids that qualify for that any drops off a non-boss, you're going to get like personal loot. So imagine you're in the LFR, every you know 30 to 40 kills of ads, you might get one drop. That's kind of how it works in all the ads in the raid. However, in a legacy loot raid, uh, the boss will drop typical gear as he would have, he or she, would have when the raids were live. It's kind of the way they appeased both sides. They kind of cut down a little bit on the gold inflation they felt we were achieving but at the same time making the rewards still meaningful so if you go into a dragon soul raid anything in cataclysm the boss will drop three to six pieces of gear and so every 20 to 30 mobs that you kill uh, some type of, of treasure will drop but every boss will in fact give you three to six pieces of gear now in legion raids here's what we have I'm gonna loot this and it acts like personal loot. It acts like loot that when you're not in LFR and you don't get anything to drop every other boss, that's what it feels like. So until they switch Legion raids to legacy loot, that's how it's going to be. So it's going to take a long time to farm gear and gold for that matter. Um, so the Paladin I'm with, he does get a chess piece here. I unfortunately only got gold from this boss. Um, pretty disappointed, but a little excited to the fact that my horribly geared 120 could easily solo 10-man Legion raids. And this is the first one. I know there's a huge jump up to the next one. So I am curious to go into Trials of Valor and kind of see how that goes. Uh, I do have to go get those quests where you get unlock the, P the uh, gear per armor class for each of the Trial of Valor raids. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that. I was also looking here to see if I can switch my pet's um, inherent abilities because if he's not really going to act like a tank because I have to use misdirection, I might as well up his damage to help us get this cleared faster. Uh, that was kind of the, the goal behind that. But it was a pretty easy boss and we never had any healing issues whatsoever. Um, these are just the ads. 
feel free to kill these as you guys go through. Just remember on this part, the uh, purple gas or the red gas. Uh, if you walk through that, it does summon a pretty tricky, well, back in the days anyways, a pretty tricky add. Um, we got decent loot drops from here as well. Um, here is the hunter macro I made. I think this is where I make the macro. Yeah. And then I realized I was just going to Google it and write down the actual real one. Um, so, <laughs> if you're wondering uh, when you're watching the video, I will go ahead and post the accurate um, misdirect. That way you can use it. Basically what it does is it targets your, pass, your pet, cast misdirect, and then I can't remember if I had a tab target to go back to the boss. But I mean... It, it was okay. And as you can see, we I did was able to loot that one corpse. Um, but see, a lot of these corpses are dying and no one's looting them. Uh, they still give AP. So the AP uh, becomes a gray item. They sell for 10, 25. I want to say there's one for 52. But that's why I was making a lot of money off Argus, too, is a lot of those AP drops. I just was bending those. Um, yeah. I mean, the purple gas isn't too bad. I mean, it gives you additional opportunities to loot. But the loot wasn't that great, so. Uh, we're going to kind of skip ahead to the next section. That way we, I mean, you guys kind of get the gist of this. So we clear the, the trash in Emerald Nightmare. And now we make our way up to the uh, center hub where Malfurion sits. Um, I really like this raid. The story was cool. I thought his idea of trying to cleanse the corruption here was pretty neat. Um, so right now he gives you this quest for the essences of clarity i can't remember what these did but i figured pick it up anyways i do get to loot one of these uh when i say when i beat scenarian so it is a good idea to pick up the quest here anyways i mean if you're trying to do everything you might as well do everything so here's the first uh raid boss ursoc if you're a druid and you're in your tank spec he does drop the uh one of the hidden skins here i think i'm not sure it, yeah it is a hidden skin uh, just by killing him cool little effect uh, I didn't show many of them um, the ads here. It's just typical kill stuff. Uh, I would kill the tentacles first They do become kind of annoying after a while. We didn't have any issues with any of this and we had a rep pally too So he was the one doing most AoE, but Maybe my damage is a little a little better All right, so there is an achievement here and uh, We failed it obviously <laughs> He looks pretty sweet though. Uh, even all in his fell glory, it's pretty nice. Um, so when the fight starts, there's an ad that comes just to the right, or just to, if you look at his face, the left of it, or his right side, there's an ad that's gonna come here. You're gonna see him in a second here. Uh, there he is right there. So you're supposed to keep him alive. And somehow, when he did his charge, he charged into that guy. So I don't know if I should have taunted him completely the opposite way. I'm, I'm not sure how he was able to get him. Uh, see, focus gaze, and I moved he he I don't know if me moving here, yeah, I don't even think he hit him, but I don't know. Maybe we should have separated the two. Maybe I should have let the paladin tank him a little better. I don't know. I don't know how you're gonna, going to do that solo. I mean, unless you just totally have him face the opposite direction maybe that's how I, I i don't know i gotta figure that out or maybe if you start running maybe that's what it was maybe because i took the hit i don't know i'll figure that out but uh just as I, I failed the achievement uh, <laughs> uh there's his, his dead corpse uh then you have to run back uh that's something that's kind of um kind of annoying through all this you have to keep running back every single time um but you know it is what it is so again, up to this point, I uh, haven't got any drops whatsoever. I got about 25 gold for each boss. We're now approaching the third boss. It's the two dragons. Um, I want to say this one does drop a pet, though. If I remember correctly, I'll go back and look through it. But, I mean, all, my, my, all the things says 5.16. Um, so I think because I killed a couple bosses, I might have gotten something. But that's still such a low score in here. Um, I do feel like it's crummier running this with, with, without legacy loot because you're losing so much gold from the, uh, 
BOP items that you would be normally getting. Um, but, you know, it, it is what it is, in all honesty. Um, so kill that ad. Your approach to bosses. Uh, we just stacked them like a lot of guilds used to do back in the days. When uh, this when this kind of got on farm, people would just stack. Especially in LFR. Uh, we just stack them and, and go at it. Alright, so the fight begins. Um, I know if it gets bad, you have to separate them. And I, I think this is one of the achievements uh, players have buffed to. I have a feeling you have to get um, both players with uh, left buff, kill them. And the next time, come back and get the right buff and kill them both. Um, but and I think there's four dragons, if I remember correctly. We, we killed them pretty quickly, so... I was a little worried about this fight, actually. I remember it being in a... When we did this on regular, uh, this fight got a little hairy. But it wasn't too bad. Just stay out of purple, like usual. And we got one down right there. And just, they drop random circles. Just try to stay out of them and continue to damage them. I ignored the ads completely. They didn't seem to be bothering us too much, um... I was at 87 health. That's not bad. I'm trying to think, do I get anything here? Let's see. Yeah, so this is, I want to say the third chess piece the Paladin got. He just kept getting, like, every chess piece, and I just kept getting gold. Which is okay. I mean, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's not too bad. So we're going to make our way back up, and then uh, start the next one. So I've kind of fast forwarded things over to the next area um, just to make it simpler. So this is the spider fight. Um, I wasn't sure how this was going to work. Uh, I know everything's been pretty easy to solo up to this point. And I feel like if you're at 375, none of this is going to give you any problems whatsoever. Especially on 10 man. Maybe at 25, maybe at heroic, maybe at mythic it gets a little hairy, but... I don't see this becoming a problem at all. I just hope Nighthold is this easy. That's what I really want to start farming. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, just basically clear, clear the trash in this entire area. Um, there is one tornado up here just to the right. Uh, just avoid that like you usually would. And then we get to the boss and it's similar. Uh, yeah, avoid tornadoes, they suck. It's the best advice I can give. Um, but I did get a, an achievement because my percentage went up. Not 7.74% all the things in here. So, I mean, got a 2% boost. I'm trying to think what that was for. Um, I can go back through a little later and kind of take inventory. But I just felt like with all the changes they made in all the things, they've really worked on it. It used to be just mogs and pets, and now it's mounts, now it's achievements now it's quest now it's everything and so it gives you a better sense of having to so having to pull from all these different venues to find out you know where i'm at in a particular place just kind of makes it all pretty succinct for us uh 7.74 before this boss um let's see cool looking boss i mean this this part of the raid reminds me a lot of firelands uh just fire spiders i mean they just call it fell now but it's still the same graphic um that does explode into green gunk on the floor so I just would try to avoid what you can uh, I think we were trying to stay together but I mean, it really didn't matter I mean look our health is even though I'm running through this we're, our health is great there's been no issues whatsoever um, I think there was only one time in the entire raid where it was like oh hey I lost 15% but it's nothing too bad um, now I was at almost 400k right here which is uh, there we go, we passed 400k, which is great considering my gear isn't that good. Um, so we finish him before the tornadoes hit, before we have to take the feather to fly over. So that was nice, we kind of avoided that mess. Um, so now we're getting closer to, to clearing out these hubs. Let's see, if, uh, more gold, great. Alright, so then from here we just go to the, the, uh, the eye, which is a really cool fight. We'll pick it up there. 
So we pick it back up in or in Ungoro. Um, this is the main path. Uh, obviously, it's easier just to run to the right. I don't even know if you pull these um, ads anymore. It doesn't look like... Oh, did he? I always kind of run through. I got super excited at this part. I forgot there's a pretty cool devil sore in here. So I did dismiss my pet with the intentions of taming this guy. But unfortunately, you can't be you can't tame Bolan. I think that's his name. Let's see. Yeah, Bolan the marked. I tried and it was not successful. Um, I will go back and tame the uh, Devil Sword and um, in the Siege of Ogilmore raid. But for now, we just kill him. Cannot be tamed. Kind of sucks. So, you know. Go ahead and we down this boss. Or this little ad here. Um, this fight, if you haven't done it before, it can be a little frustrating. Uh, there's two focuses. Um, first, your first focus point is the uh, tentacles. You want to kill them every time they come up. There's an ad that comes halfway through. But the big focus is when you get the slimes on the ground... Uh, you want to bring them over to the eye and make sure they die on top of that eye. Uh, they explode and that kind of how he opens up. Um, pretty straightforward fight after that, but you, you have to remember to get those eyes killed or those slimes killed in the eye or you're going to be there for a while. So the fight starts and you just kill the tentacles as soon as you can. Damage didn't seem to be an issue here either. Um... The eye doesn't do much, so it's just kind of, you know, killing stuff. And again, it seems like every boss you kill in here gives about 2 point something percent towards all the things. Uh, I was at 7.5%, now I'm about 10.32. Still have 0 drops. Um, didn't really even check to see what Emerald Nightmare dropped for Hunters. But, um, yeah, still nothing at this point. So just let, letting the slimes come to the eye, killing them, and letting, letting them explode. Um, damage didn't do that much. I think right now I'm at 80% health, and I did stand in all of it. So it wasn't too bad. Um, this is the ad we were supposed to kill. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch to that target. So, I mean, all in all, doesn't seem like it's been too bad of a raid up to this point. Um... Although I haven't got any gear, that's kind of been crummy. Uh, and then there are achievements and zone drops. And then there also there's Dream Whelpling pets at the end of this, which I haven't unlocked pet battling yet. So once I do, I'll be able to get that. Um, and then it hasn't been too long of a time in here either, considering. I mean, yeah, it's about 18 minutes into the video, so probably about 20 some odd minutes for the fight, but it wasn't wasn't too bad I, I didn't feel anyways um, now we're just killing the uh, slimes trying to destroy that eye um, health is pretty solid he's at about 15% now I want to say 11 yeah there we go. oh no yeah eyes at 15 14.8 uh, we were trying to shoot him just to kind of expedite things And I, the add-on I had is the instance um, achievement add-on. Kind of lets you know what needs to be done. It also gave you a percentage on the boss to how much, how many slimes had been killed on them. I think you need 20. So maybe we don't get it. Let's see. So I thought you needed 20 to open it, but maybe we're supposed to get 20 to kill them. We'll see. So here is the boss. Ilganoth. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but he's the one who whispers the darkness into you. Um, didn't really move out of anything in here, just focus was on just killing him. Uh, did get that achievement. That didn't up that much. I did get my first piece of hands, finally. That helped a lot. Um, yeah, all in all, good little run here. So then you make your way back to the outside, uh, find Mount Fury, and you click the uh, center area in the middle of the hub, and drops you to the Scenarian fight. Now, this is the funniest thing I, I, I've, I've seen in quite a while. Um, you'll, 
You'll see in a minute. So many guilds wiped in here. Um, but while I'm goofing off with the camera, oh, come on, turn back. Yeah, here we go. He just runs so ridiculous. <laughs> so you're supposed to not follow him, obviously. Um, there is a path to the left, but it wasn't very good, and I'll find a new one for the next time I come here. Alright, so we start the Scenarius fight. We did avoid all the ads, so didn't pull everything. Um, in this fight, two things really happen. I mean, you're supposed to get the dragon, obviously, and kill him. But the big things are that these um, po these fell vines kind of make their way across the battlefield. Every time they hit you, they stun you, but they stop. Second thing is, you do get these stacks on you. Um, it's called Creepy Nightmares. And every time you want to clear those stacks, because they do do some damage... There's a green uh, forest area that you kind of move to. I thought about doing that, but it felt like we just kept killing it. So there's the brand, um, the vines that kind of creep forward. Uh, if you hit them, they do stun you, but they stop. I kind of just kept letting them go because we were doing okay. Damage-wise, I did take a little bit of damage in this fight, actually. It was around 60-something percent. Um, 63 percent right there, but I mean, we got the kill. And that's all that really matters in the end. I'm trying to see. We did get a couple of achievements as well. But for some reason it's not showing now. Because now I'm not, still at only 14.19%. I'm not sure why that was so low. But you know it is what it is. Um, there's a chest for our loot. I think this is where I got the essence from. But I'm curious to see what I got. Yeah just essence of clarity. Which is for the quest for Malfurion. Um, from this point we're at the last boss in the raid. We're going to go ahead and jump down and fight that last boss. And then see what we get so we jump down kill the ads and that kind of starts a fight with Xavius um, he looks pretty neat uh, I was a little worried about this fight because there are two phases one where you're in the spirit realm or nightmare realm and one you're in just the damage realm it appears that I got moved to it but I was still able to attack Xavius so we just kept plowing through and I mean, it's a pretty easy kill and actually some of the other fights in this raid were harder than this one as a solo um, obviously during the fight it was pretty rough with the uh, blades that went across the battlefield and so on and so forth but all in all it's pretty easy easy raid I was as thankful as this uh, this easy yeah it looks like I'm dreamed right here but uh, we just kept fighting him and he kept dying <laughs> so it was okay I was at 92% health, our pally was about 83, it's the first time I saw him drop, but he was just focused on damage, so it wasn't too bad. I kept uh, misdirecting to the pet, so finally I gave him a heal once, but I mean it wasn't too bad, we just continued. I don't know why I switched here, we just kept shooting the boss, but it's okay. Um, yeah. So we bring him down pretty soon here. And then let me see what I get. I'm trying to think. Did I get anything? Yes, more gold. It's awesome. Got a l lot of gold. However, if I would have had the items from a legacy loot run, I could have fended them for a lot more. So we're at the end of the raid. Uh, this is where you can get the Dream Whelpling pet. Hope you had a great time. It's basically one run, one item. Not that great. Uh, and until next time, keep collecting and thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the videos where I can keep making more amazing content. Thanks and take care.